Hi, I'm Marie Mushing, and you're watching People in Connection TV. Well, here we are nearly to the end of February already. You know, the first two months of this year, of course, flown right by for many of us. And I hope you've had a great year so far. You know, we're talking to a lot of small businesses in the region. And, and for them, business is booming. It's really good to see that the small business sector is doing so well. So, you know, it's always very encouraging, and especially in these days when it seems like the prices of everything are going up and up and up, and uh, you know, we're being as like, like gouged by some of the big oil companies and uh, getting hit on our hydro bills and everything. It's good to know that we're at least still making an income uh, so that we can pay all those expenses. Yeah. But we've got a great show lined up for you at People in Connection today. Um, in the studio today is, I guess, Don Guyberson from Dream Crafters, and he's got a great segment for you on his series, Living the Dream. And we were expecting a special guest this morning, Evelyn Myrie, um from Empire Empower Consulting Group. And unfortunately, Evelyn is not able to make it, not here this morning, so we're hoping that we can get her into the studio perhaps uh, next week. So let's talk about the events that are coming up at People in Connection. We have the Spiritual Niagara Monthly Events, and that's with Kathy Upper, and that's down in the Niagara Falls region. So check those out on our website. And they have a lot of different events. If you go to their calendar, um, Kathy has on her website, she has all kinds of events that she holds through Spiritual Niagara. So it's very wide, a lot of different topics. So check that out. Um, also, Art from the Heart One Day Workshop, that's with Carolyn Shannon, of course, down in Niagara Falls. And that's always a very good workshop. And check, you know, all these events are listed, of course, on our website and with links over to our members' websites, and you can find out all the information. Uh, so, Pata Jewelry Designs, uh, they have their spring co collection preview that's coming up on March the 6th. So, if you love jewelry, you definitely want to check that out. That's with Barbara Earl. And then there's the Business Tips Breakfast with Women Who Excel. And that's, of course, run by Christine Whitlock. And that breakfast is held out in Burlington. Uh, the event, other event this I want to talk about this morning, and this is the one we were hoping hope Evelyn would make it into the studio for, is the Singing Her Praises Celebrating Women event. And that's actually going to be on March the 11th. Very large event that's going to be happening. I believe that's at Michelangelo's Banquet Center. And if this March marks 100 years of celebrating uh, women. So check that out. Find out some more information. Come to our website and go to the, there's singingherpraises.com. Find out some more information. And as I say, we're really hoping that we can get Evelyn into the studio next week to talk a little bit more about it. We have some great home offer or business opportunities, income opportunities. You know, for those of you that are, you know, maybe out of work or looking to change careers, uh, maybe you're retiring from a job and you're looking for just a little part-time income. Uh, Barbara Earl is looking for women that would like to make some extra income and that maybe love jewelry. Um, and so, if they're looking for a career change in that area, uh, you can join her team, and she's with Sopata Jewelry or Sopata Designs Jewelry. I'm sorry. And also out here at People in Connection, we want people. <laughs> Actually, we're looking for some independent salespeople that would be interested in promoting People in Connection throughout the Golden Horseshoe region. So if you are a salesperson and you're already out there talking to the business community, this would be a great time for you um, to also add this. We offer some excellent commissions and bonuses based on sales. Um, so talk to me and ask me for some more information on that. So my guest this morning, Don Guyberson from Dream Crafters. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Marie. Thank you for making it this morning. We've had quite a challenge today between people being sick and not being able to make it this morning. But thank you very much. We had a little confusion as to time and everything today. So Glad to be here. I am so thrilled that you're here this morning, Don. Okay. okay. And things are going well. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was getting okay. some great feedback from your last appearance on the show. You know, people are really looking forward to your appearance to you coming on and speaking for us again too on March the seventh at the evening showcase. Okay. Looking so, forward to it. Oh yeah, so that's gonna be really exciting. So your topic today, Don, is about your vision story. Yeah. Yes. And and that sounds very fascinating. You know, I'm really enjoying, you know, the process that you're taking people through here. And now we're to this point, the, the vision story. So what happens? Okay. 
Well, the, what's well, covered in the, one of our earlier sessions, that having a really clear vision of what you want in your business is actually accounts for 20% of your success in business. Of course. And it's surprising how many business owners haven't taken the time to sit down and really get clear about exactly what they want. Right. And the vision story is a way to do that, not just in business, but in every area of your life. And the best time to do that, I find, is actually in the last, latter part of the year, around December. Okay. Now, what the vision story is, it's a story or a description, a written description, of what you want to see in your business and your life in the next 12 months. Okay. And it's written as if it's already happened. So you yeah. start by giving thanks for the amazing year you've just had. So you're looking back over the past year as if it's already happened, okay. and you're describing all the amazing things mm -hmm. that you've experienced. And the reason that you do it that way is that puts you in the vibration of having already experienced it. Right. So then right. you start to attract it. So it's written in the present tense. And here are some suggested areas that you might want to include in your vision story. Okay. So the first one mm -hmm. is, of course, your business or your career. Okay. So you might want to include such things as what type of work do you do? Uh, obviously, you're probably running your own business <laughs> Obviously, if you're <laughs> watching this show. Uh, do you work in your own office? Uh, do you work at home? Do you tend to be outside? Do you travel a lot? Um, what kind of hours do you work each week? Um, how much vacation do you take? What kind of benefits do you have? Who do you work with? Um, you may want to describe your ideal day and what that looks like and the type of things that you do. Um, what are your passions, your talents, your values? Mm -hmm. And ultimately, what, what is the destiny that you see for your business? You might also describe, you know, what is your purpose? Um, who do you serve and how? And what kind of projects are you involved in that really excite you? Okay. Excellent. So that's one A lot of things, different things to consider, right? Eh? Yes. Yeah, so that's yeah. the first area, yeah. is business or career. Okay. The other area, uh, some other areas you may want to include are finances. Mm -hmm. So if you feel comfortable doing so, specify what is your net worth? What is your income? Um, what do you have in savings? Uh, specify that you're debt free, if that's a goal. Mm -hmm. um, that you have passive income coming in. So even when you're on the beach, you're making money, which is always a nice thing. Oh yeah, what a <laughs> wonderful idea. <laughs> you might want And it is, it definitely yeah. is. And you might want to put down things like money management, what mm -hmm. percentage of your money goes to education, to tithing, if you do that, yeah. savings. Uh, perhaps you have a percentage that you're set saving up for some big trip or something that you mm -hmm. want to purchase. And you may also want to include your investments, uh, how they're doing, sure. what kind of return you're getting. Mm -hmm. Again, you get to create, you're creating what you want with this. Yeah. So that's finances. The next area that you may want to look at is relationships. Mm -hmm. And here I suggest including a relationship with yourself. How do you feel mm -hmm. about yourself yeah. and the kind of relationship you're well, having? Yes. That's a pretty important one. That's, yeah, I think that would be the most important one. It is, yes. actually. It's the one yes. we give the, less, the least consideration to, but it is actually yes. the most important. Mm -hmm. Of course, you also want to include uh, your relationship with your spouse or your significant other, mm -hmm. uh, your children, if you have any, your parents and in-laws, uh, extended family, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews. Uh, you may also want to include the type of relationships you're having in your business, your, mm -hmm. your co-workers, your employees, your staff, mm -hmm. your suppliers, your customers, and any other type of relationships that you may want to specify as well. Excellent. And then another area, of course, is our physical and our health. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to actually write down how I'm looking, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. so height, you weight, you? and yeah. how you feel yeah. about yourself, your mm -hmm. hair, the teeth, the skin, you know, all of that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, your fitness, mm -hmm. you know, uh, muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance, your strength, your flexibility, mm -hmm. your stamina, you know, your uh, energy, whatever you want to uh, yeah. specify. Mm -hmm. Your health. Always good to specify that you're in good health. <laughs> well, exactly, exactly. And, and I think, you know, when you're talking about health, I think, and I find with a lot of business owners, it's the last thing on their list, which, mm -hmm. you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's some of the things that should be at the top of your yeah. list. No health, no business. That's I mean, right, <laughs> yeah. If you're not healthy enough to run your business, then, yeah, you're dead in the water. So yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. something we tend to take for granted. It's just, it's it just is. where we are. Yeah. You know, actually, one of the future sessions does talk on business and health. Oh. So that's Excellent. one of the topics we're going to touch on. Hmm. And in this category, you might also include um, habits that you're incorporating. Okay. So maybe you're uh, dieting, you're exercising more, maybe you've given up smoking, mm -hmm. or you're cutting down and you're drinking, you're not drinking at all now. Maybe you're taking vitamins, um, self-care, you're going for regular massages and dental care, mm -hmm. whatever you want to specify. Yeah, well, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And, and definitely all things that people really should think about. 
this is one of the, the next category I suggest is a really nice one, and that's the fun and recreation category. <laughs> and this is where you put down the things that you're doing for fun and recreation. Okay. It, we know it's important that we take time to recharge our batteries yeah. and do things that are fun. So what hobbies do you have? Mm -hmm. Are you traveling? And if so, where? Um, what are you doing for fun outings? Uh, what are you doing to create memories for your family and for others? Um, what gives you joy? Uh, what type of adventures are you doing? So maybe you've decided mm -hmm. to learn how to fly a plane or to mountain mm -hmm. climb or perhaps you've taken up chess or uh, you're mm -hmm. learning new languages. Maybe, um, you know, what is it that you're doing that's giving you fun and excitement in your life? Okay. And the last um, two categories are spiritual and personal growth. Mm -hmm. So perhaps you might identify things you've incorporated in terms of spiritual practices. Maybe you're meditating. Maybe you've taken up yoga or um, just spending time in nature. Mm -hmm. um, you might also include courses that you want that you're planning to take, um, studies, uh, seminars you're planning to go to, languages. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to learn a new language this year, mm -hmm. or some type of new experience that you want to have that will be, you know, expand you in some way. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And finally, the last okay. category is one that we often don't think about, but that's contribution and legacy. And this is where you specify, how am I making a difference? What am I here to do? What is the contribution that I'm making and the legacy that I'm leaving? Okay. Maybe you started your own foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're donating money to causes that you believe in. Or maybe you're volunteering and supporting causes. Maybe you're advocating for things that you feel passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, how are you making a difference in the world? Right. And that's what you specify in this last section of the okay. vision story. Mm -hmm. And, and I find too, it, the entrepreneurs, people in, the, people in their own businesses, seem to be the biggest con contributors to their community and trying to make change. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, and that's by, and of course, of course, we find in this day and age, with social media and different things, it's much more available. It's uh, and it's yes. more out there for people too. Yes. So they they're more aware of what's going on in their community mm -hmm. and different ways that they can help mm -hmm. people. And even I find a lot of entrepreneurs, their business is part of their contribution. Yes. They have gotten yeah. into business because of something that they feel very passionate about. Yeah. It's something they love to do. It's mm -hmm. making a difference in the world in some way. Yeah. Um, that's their reason for going into business. Yeah, exactly. So essentially the, you know, your ideal or your vision story, whatever you want to call it, is really intended to be a blueprint mm -hmm. for your life. Mm -hmm. Um, and one way to really have some fun with it is imagine that as you're doing it that you're writing it with a magic pen and that everything you write with this pen will come true. Okay. So you're, you, you then become very careful about what you write down. You yes. only write down the things that you yes. want careful to manifest. careful what you wish for, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah, very and good. so it's... Um, it may take you an hour or two mm -hmm. to do this. It yeah. does take a bit of time. Oh, yeah. And of course, you're going to want to revise it as you gain more clarity mm -hmm. and more ideas come to you. Yeah. But once you have it done, it really does become a blueprint or a roadmap for mm -hmm. the life that you want to live. Mm -hmm. And then it's a matter of just reviewing it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Yeah. And you can do that by reading it, or what I like to do is sometimes just take a few moments and just daydream. Yeah. Just remember about all those things that you wrote down and imagine that you're already doing them and that you're living that life. Mm -hmm. Well, in that moment, you're in the vibration of being there. And that's what you're putting out vibrationally, mm -hmm. and then the universe starts to respond to that to make that your new reality. Excellent. Uh, and that's great. And, you know, and that's what I find, too. Like a lot of people may do, they're very visual, so they may do the board, a vision board, yes. that goes with all these things that you, you were talking about that they're writing down. Yes. And, and I think something like that is very good, too. And I think the whole trick, of course, is not to put it away somewhere where you're never going to see it again. Yes. And, you know, don't, don't just do it, put it away and forget about mm -hmm. it for the next year. And well, <laughs> actually, there can, that yeah. can yeah. actually be a very oh, effective yeah? strategy. Really? Yeah, the one approach that I've seen that works very well is the feel it and forget it approach. Okay. Where you write it all down or you do up your vision board and you work with it just long enough until you sort of internalize okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you put it away. And I don't know how many times I've heard stories of yeah. people who've written something down, mm -hmm. really got excited about it, and then they put it away somewhere. Then they come across it a couple of months later and yeah. they're amazed to find out that it's okay. already happened. Right. And the reason that works is because when you forget about it, you're not resisting it. Oh, okay. You've forgotten about it, mm -hmm. so you're not you're not offering you're not trying to make it happen. Yes. You've completely forgotten, so you're open to it oh. manifesting. Oh, okay. And then the next thing you know, you you oh. find one of your sheets and oh, yeah. that's happened. 
Yeah. That's happened. That's happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I find too, even with myself of being in business for so many years, I've gone back, you know, cleaning out old files, and I've come across things, and I think, wow, that's really cool. That did happen. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's that's true because you know, and it's even when you're writing these things down for your vision board, like beliefs and your health and different things too. You know, you may look back over the years and you think, you know what? Those are the same beliefs, so this is yeah. good. I'm, it shows I'm still on that right track, yes. you know. So, yeah, so that's great. Yeah, yes. very good. Now, if people are looking for some help with this, mm -hmm. they may want to sign up for, uh, I have a program called Turbocharge Your Life. Mm -hmm. It's a free 30-day program that leads people step by step through the process of creating a life that they absolutely love. And the link is there mm -hmm. on the. Excellent, and that's a free program. To, that's a free program. Excellent. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you get an email a day, and each mm -hmm. day you're doing a little bit of work right. to create that vision in each area of your life. Oh, very good, very good. And of course, you have some other programs that are teleclasses too. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's lots going on. Yes. So there's the on the last call on the last show we talked about the Turbocharge Your Business yes. program, which is starting on the 9th of March. Mm -hmm. It's a four-week series, a four-week teleclass, yep. and you actually go through the Being Attraction Plan, creating a vision mm -hmm. for the business that you want, mm -hmm. and then we do resonance repatterning to actually bring you into harmony with that. That's so right. That you yeah, and you're doing that with a partner. With a partner who yep. does the resonance repatterning, Karen Kett. Yes. 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 And that sounds very interesting. I I think a lot of people should do that because, you know, especially small businesses that are just trying to get going, or maybe you're getting a little discouraged about their business. Mm -hmm. You know, I think things like this are great for getting them back on the right path, mm -hmm. you know, and I think anything positive like that in your life is just a, a wonderful mm -hmm. thing. And as I say, I like the idea of that being put back on the right path because mm -hmm. it is very easy to get off that path, and I do talk to a lot of people that lose their way in their business and they do mm -hmm. get very discouraged about it and you know that changing the attitude as you say changing mm -hmm. that all of that around to a very positive thing mm -hmm. can make all the difference for them yeah yeah well what's nice about the being attraction plan it's it's very simple mm -hmm. but it, it it helps you get that clarity yes it's not the, the magic isn't in the being attraction plan it's right. the process you go through to create it mm -hmm. and it's getting that clarity yeah. And it actually helps if you've been in business a while because then you've got some experience. You know yeah. what you worked, what didn't. Mm -hmm. You know what type of customers you liked, what customers aren't so great. Yeah. So you've got a little bit more uh, experience to draw upon mm -hmm. when you're creating that clarity because yeah. you've been in business for a while. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Excellent, Don. This is great information that you've shared with us today, as always. So thank well, you so much for coming being a guest. on the show. Look forward to being back again. Thank right, you. Thank you, Marie. Make sure you check out Don's website, dreamcrafters.ca. You know, sign up for the free programs, and definitely, you know, I re highly recommend you sign up for the teleclass, and, you know, you can turbocharge your business. <laughs> so, definitely check that out, and by, if you get a chance, register for the event March the 7th, 6.30 in the evening. That's going to be happening, and as I say, that's out at the Super 8 Hotel in Grimsby, just off Casablanca Boulevard. So, it's just next, right next to the highway, and with, along with Don, we'll also have Janet Barkley in the... I was going to say in the studio at the event that day, and she'll be talking about all about using Twitter to grow your business. So, a couple of really great topics. Don's topic, of course, is um, marketing strategies that let you own the map. So, not only do you get a piece of that map, he wants you to own it. So, definitely, if you can get out to that event on March the seventh, we'd love to see you there. And of course, food that evening is going to be supplied by Wayne Baker from Cooking Is Fun Is Easy. Wayne's been in our studio um, for a number of times already doing his series. Uh, fun in the kitchen with Wayne, and yeah, excellent. Every time he comes in, something smells wonderful in here. So, and I'm looking forward to the snacks that he'll be providing for that event. Our people in connection events: we have Halton Tuesday, March the first. Now we've combined Burlington Oakville events, and they're happening at the Symposium Restaurant. That's between Walker's Line and Appleby Line in Burlington, just uh, Upper Middle and Ibatashi Way. A wonderful restaurant. We have a lovely private room in there. And as I say, that's the first time we'll be there is Tuesday, March the 1st, 8 o'clock in the morning. So we hope you can join us. Niagara Falls, it's a lunchtime event, and that's March the 2nd. Hamilton, Wednesday, March the 9th, it's breakfast event. St. Catharines is also Wednesday, March the 9th, and that's a lunchtime event. So you can go right from Hamilton down to St. Catharines and have another meal. Ancaster is Thursday, March 17th. That's an evening event. That's actually a dinner time event. And Brantford, Tuesday, March the 22nd. They just had their Brantford event uh, 
yesterday or on Tuesday this week, and they had a great event. They had you know a dozen people out to it and a fabulous topic. So we're going to share a little bit more information about that too really soon. SWAT TV with the Hamilton Chamber of Commerce is coming live to the Augusta House, and that's today at 5.30 p.m., um, so check that out. Uh, of course, I am the, one of the co-hosts of the show, along with Brent Kinnaird from Inspire Marketing. So, you know, it's going to be a wonderful show. We'll be doing a couple of interviews and talking to some of the people at the event, and that runs from 5.30 till 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, so we hope you can join us at the Augusta House, and if not, we'll be live to air through People in Connection TV. We have a membership feature right now, and it says, yes, you can afford to be bold and ultra bold. We are offering uh, a new monthly payment plan just to make it very more, much more affordable for the small businesses. And, you know, of course, we've also always been a great supporter of the small business sector, and we'd love to see you get a lot more exposure, of course, through the Internet, through the video and the Internet TV shows. And, you know, let's face it, you know, Canadians are watching about 30 minutes of video every day on the web. So, you know, if great idea of, you know, your appearance on one of our shows is part of one of those videos that they're watching that day. Monday's show, we're very pleased to have Nadia Dzuzaneski in the studio with her Healthy for Life program, Nadia and Julie Stobie from Mind Over Clutter, and Brian O'Donnell will be back in the studio from Dr. PC. So that's it for our show for this week. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the show and that you're going to have a great weekend ahead. And check back on Monday, 10 a.m. for People in Connection TV. I'm Marie Mushy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>